What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So just two days before the official iPhone 14 and 14 Pro launch, Apple has just dropped the first developer preview or beta of 16.1 for all of the most recent iPhones. You can download it right now. Obviously we haven't got a full chance to jump into it and play on it, but we have a couple of awesome updates and new features that have already been discovered. Give us a big thumbs up for that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. So what we noticed so far is in the new APIs, we have live activities returning, which is probably one of the most exciting new features coming for the new iPhone 14 Pro series, just because of the way it displays for such things as uh, sports scores personally that I'm looking forward to. But for any iPhone that will display ongoing notifications on the bottom here on your screen, letting you know uh, delivery food status, where your Uber's at, such things like that, uh, how if your Starbucks drinks is ready. I mean, there's a whole line of features that developers just have to dive into and access this API to initiate. We're also getting that new battery update for clean energy charging. And also we've seen that now the new wallet app, due to all the, uh, we'll just say non-competitive feats that Apple has not been letting in the App Store, you can now automatically delete the wallet app. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this and get right into it. Okay, so jumping right into it, let's go ahead and unlock this and get it active. Let's jump into the settings and general about. And you can see we are actually currently on 16.1 and that developer build number is 20B5045D. So as I said, a couple of the things that we found, first things first, like we described in for the wallet app, you can actually now remove this app if you so choose. And let me try to clean this up for you guys a little bit here. So you can now remove the app if you want. So moving beyond that though, under settings as well, if you wanted to jump into your battery, you will now see a new option listed instead of battery health, it is now battery health and charging. So if you jump in here, you can see, and just so you guys know, this is enabled by default, so you have to go back and turn it off. This will actually turn, the, the new feature basically reads, in your region, iPhone will try to reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging when lower carbon emission electricity is available. iPhone learns from your daily charging routine, so it can reach full charge before you need to use it. I don't know about you guys, but a device as small as an iPhone probably isn't going to do too much damage to the environment if we just charge when we need it. Um, but again, just my personal opinion, you guys do whatever you'd like. I'm turning this off. I want to make sure I always have a full charge when I plug this baby in. So as far as everything else goes though, feels the same, looks the same currently. Uh, I haven't found anything. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do, but we will keep diving and jumping around and seeing if there are any other tweaks yet to be seen. Again, like I said, that live activities API is what I am personally super excited about, but just not yet, obviously, currently active due to no developers having implemented it yet. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, download that new 16.1 beta right now, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.